Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm going to be sewing this week. So I, if you haven't noticed, I've like been under the weather and just kind of like slowly getting back into like a routine after coming home from a week-long trip with my in-laws and whatnot. So this is like the first full week that I get to get back into some projects that I have not been able to get to that I've been really wanting to get to. So let's get into everything. I'll start with what I already started cutting this afternoon and that is my quilted pants. I told y'all I wanted to make quilted pants. I am making the pants. And I'm gonna be using Ella's pattern. This is Handmade Millennial, her Nomi pattern. 2033 and if you know this pattern you know it's got the contrasting pants so I used this quilt that I have from the thrift store and I'm in the middle of cutting this I had to quit for a second because <laughs> my neck and my back okay um even though I have an electric scissor like cutting this I like sat down and like took a two-hour break so once I wrap up this video I'll hopefully get back to this if I'm not watching Gilded Age by then it's the season finale okay back to sewing back to sewing okay so the next thing I want to work on I know y'all are tired of seeing this I know you guys are tired of seeing this okay so after going back and forth yes this is the same faux leather that I have like been trying to figure out what I want to do with do do with it um after going back and forth after even dyeing fabric to make it match this it didn't quite match it's not sitting well with me I decided less is more and I'm actually going to make this into like a still a, a sheath dress but I'm going to use Mimi G's camisole pattern from her new book make it yours with mimi g and i it's a camisole tank top but i want to extend it down to a dress and i'm hoping that i can use that pattern to do that now with it being faux leather i'm still working out what i want the straps to be <laughs> and so i'm like do i go to like the store and get like some satin and i make this strap satin um, or do I like add like gold links to it? I have to figure it out. Um, the other thing I have to figure out, I've been like doing some research about sewing with faux leather. And it turns out that people recommend like a Teflon foot. Um, I do not have a Teflon foot with my Janome. So I have a Teflon foot that goes with my old brother machine, which is in this closet behind me. And... If I'm going to use that, then I'm going to have to use my brother machine, which I have no issue with because it works just fine. But it is one of those things where it's like, hmm, I hadn't considered actually breaking out that machine to do something else. So, <clears throat> again, I think less is more with something like this, especially with it being my first time making faux leather or making something with faux leather. And I think that this will be cute. And I'm thinking that even though it is a spaghetti strap tank dress, I can layer it with like a nice turtleneck underneath because y'all know I'm a turtleneck girly. And I think that'll be cute. Like, and also this burgundy is kind of etching on the side of purple. So I might be wearing this to the color purple uh, movie um, when I go see it on Christmas day or a couple of days after Christmas. I'm going to see that movie y'all. Okay, can we talk about what I'm not going to make? So, remember this? Yes, and I was gonna do new look 6768 with it. So I was gonna do this with this. And I hate to say this, Okay, so I have fallen out of love with the idea of this. One, I'm not crazy about the wool, but two, I've been hearing some things about the pattern and someone on the internet like mentioned something about the way the arms are and just how like challenging the instructions are. So I'm not gonna be making that this week. I'm actually just gonna table that for a moment 
and just kind of like recalibrate that because I love a good cape. I love a good poncho. I just, I need to figure that one out. Like every time I've seen someone like attempt to make it, the fabric either looks like a little stressed out, like it's been through some things or they're like, no, I don't want to do it anymore. Like I've had to step away. So I feel like maybe that's not the project for me right now. And instead, I'm swapping it out for this. And that is Vogue 8930. Now I have my eye on some fabric. And if you're like me, you know when the sales, like you know the weeks of the sales for Hobby Lobby. So this coming week is when the fabric goes on sale. And I have some fabric in mind that I want to do with this. Um, if it doesn't work out, then we never had this conversation, but I really want it to work out and hopefully it does so that I can have a nice little like shawl coat or whatever. So yeah, then if all of that goes well, which we know sometimes things don't, but you never know. <clears throat> I'm gonna jump into my Know Me 2001 coat by Beauty Jador. Um, I, okay, so I realized why I haven't gotten started on this coat. I'm kind of nervous and it's not my first coat pattern. So I think I'm nervous because I really like this fabric. I really like the pattern. And if I mess it up, I know that like, I can't run to the store and get more fabric. So I think it makes me really nervous, but I gotta get over that because I want the coat, y'all. I want the coat. Um, so again, if I get through everything I wanna get through, if I'm still standing, if I'm still, if I still have energy to get through everything, I plan on approaching my Nomi coat uh, by Beauty Jador. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Hope you guys are rested to come into this week with me and watch me make all of these things. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're not following me already, you can follow me at Raven Maureen on TikTok, Instagram, and threads. See you guys next time. Bye.